everyone, welcome to Custom Spray Mods. Now today, I'm going to be painting this motorcycle. It's been left in the weather, and we've had some bushfires. The ash has come down and completely ruined that paint. So I need to strip it all back and start from scratch. I'm going to use some paint stripper, get rid of all that old paint, use some uh, edge primer and primer, and then I'll be ready for my colour scheme. So um, yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is start pulling it apart, and we'll go from there. Okay, now I need to strip the paint off these parts. I've got a metal tank and some other plastic parts. So that means uh, for the metal tank, I can use a normal automotive paint stripper. But for the plastic parts, I need to use a, a paint stripper that's suitable for plastic. Um, this paint stripper will rip the paint off, but it won't affect the plastic parts. And it's perfect for bumper bars or plastic bike parts, anything like that. But I just need to strip this paint off because um, it's pretty much infected. The clear coat, the color, and the primer it's been infected um, and it's anything that's going to go on top of that is just going to crack or, uh, or, or get damaged again because that base isn't in good condition. So if you've got a car or panels that have uh, sun damage, cracked colour, cracked clear coat, really need to paint strip it all off so that your new paint on top will last a long time. Okay, before I start paint stripping, I like to sand it with some 80 grit sandpaper first. That allows the paint stripper to really bite into the paint and do its job. So I'm going to sand all these parts with some 80 grit dry sandpaper and then apply that paint stripper on. Like I said before, I'm going to be using a plastic paint stripper. That's not going to affect my plastic, it's going to rip that paint off. When using paint stripper, you want to apply it really thick. That's going to allow it to penetrate that, that paint really well and allow that paint to just strip off as easy as possible. Once you can see that the paint stripper has done its job, you can use a metal paint scraper or you can use uh, some scotch Brite pads to give it a little extra help and remove the rest of that paint. If all the paint hasn't come off the first time you've used the paint stripper, you can give it another go just to get that excess paint off there and just keep going until it's all off the product that you want stripped. Okay, so I've paint stripped the whole tank. There's no more paint left on it. I've just got a bare metal tank. Now, because I did use paint stripper on it, I need to clean it with water and then clean it with a metal conditioner or a rust converter. Something that's going to get rid of all that paint stripper residue before I put my primer on. Otherwise, the paint stripper is still in that metal, um, stuck to that metal uh, somehow, and it's going to come through the primer. It's going to cause problems, and we don't want that. So I'm going to clean it with water, rust converter, water again, sand it, wax and grease remover, then I'm ready for my primer. Okay, now I'm going to spray my epoxy primer. So it basically can go onto bare metal and it gives a nice fill as well. So two or three coats of this and I'll be uh, ready to start uh, sanding after it dries. So yeah, got to use a two mil spray gun and um, I've prepared my metal tank so it shouldn't be too hard. Let's mix it up. As always, when it comes to primer, apply three coats Wait 10 15 minutes between coats. For the plastic part, I'm going to use a plastic high build primer. It goes on bare plastic, and I just need to sand it with some 800 grit wet sandpaper, then I can start painting. Well, there you go, that's how you paint strip metal and paint strip plastic. And um, yeah, it's always important to, if you're paint stripping metal, make sure you treat that metal. Um, before you start applying your primer. I used a rust converter, but you can use a metal conditioner. Uh, definitely, uh, if you're paint stripping, you need to uh, treat that metal, otherwise the paint stripper can affect your primer. And uh, it, it can just peel off and you'll get problems later on. Uh, yeah, so once you've got the, your, your panels all in bare metal, it's time to uh, put your primer. I use an epoxy primer, 
But you can also use uh, either a 1K edge primer, a 2K edge primer, uh, or you can use the all you need primer. Basically, you want to um, just think about what top coat you're going to use. If you're using 1K products for your top coat, use 1K edge primer. If you're using 2K products, use a 2K edge primer and it should be right. So um, yeah, I've got this all primed. I'm going to head into the booth and do my top coats. Alright, so I decided to paint my whole bike, the track race bearings and everything, not just the tank and the and the plastic parts. So I'm going to paint it in a, um, a fluoro colour, which was suggested by someone on my last video. And uh, I picked the colour scheme from uh, the NGM Forward Racing uh, Team Colours. I'm a big fan of MotoGP, so I thought I'll give this colour scheme a go. And um, yeah, I'm all prepared now. I've cleaned it all with wax and grease remover. I'm about to spray some 2K transparent sealer on it, which is going to help the new paint stick and then I'll be ready to start my colour scheme. So, yeah, let's do it. Next time on Custom Spray Mods, Dave Master paints his motorcycle.